I have something that I wish we had in the office. So I just uh, get ready to take note. This is where Urban is headquartered. So Urban is a startup, but also an official Esri partner. Um, and they even won an award the other week in, um, in Palm Springs at the, uh, at the partner conference. So I'm excited to talk to Matthias Bühler here today about all the exciting things that he does with City Engine and um, basically find out a little more about him and for all you hardcore City Engine fans out there, we have something exciting lined up next month, um, so stay tuned. So just before I properly get started with this vlog, a quick little note to let you know that City Engine 2018.0 is now in beta stage and so that means that you can head to the Early Adopters program, which I'll link below, uh, and download it for free and test it out. And we're really looking forward to hearing your feedback. Welcome to the hot seat. Thanks for joining me here today. And I'm going to ask you a couple of questions um, about you, about Urban, and about like your connection to, to City Engine. So I'll start with the last one. Um, you've been essentially a part of City Engine and around City Engine for a very long time. So why don't you tell me a little bit about how that happened? Well, uh, let's, let's do that. And first of all, thanks for, thanks for having me. Um, so, I've heard of City Engine for the first time in CG News where I heard that uh, this new gadget appeared and it was called City Engine 2008.3. And uh, I actually decided to contact Pascal about it and ask him uh, whether there would be an opportunity to. Um, maybe work at uh, procedural at that point in time. So that was a little bit before I actually decided to go to Hollywood and take some really graphics classes. Um, and then I met Pascal and the team in Los Angeles at SIGGRAPH. Um, and that was in 2008. And in 2009, around October, I was actually able to start working in the procedural team. And so between 2009 and 2011, there was procedural, then came the ESRI acquisition of the procedural team and technology. And from there, I continued about two and a half more years uh, to work in the Synergy team at uh, the ESRI R&D Center in Zurich, that you very well know. That's <laughs> it, that's it. <laughs> um, all right, so, because you just mentioned it, so you went to Hollywood and you took some graphics classes and um, 3D graphics classes um, and you've also been like a VFX artist for a couple of bigger movie productions, right? So that obviously is very cool, but looking at your bio, you studied architecture, so how does, how does that happen? Um, well, well, uh, <laughs> so 3D graphics for me was uh, long-term hobby and I, I played around with a lot of technologies over, over the years. Um, but in the early 90s where I decided I would like to go in the direction of let's say 3D environments kind of architectural things, uh, there were no, no types of um, jobs around in, in 3D graphics or, or in visual effects at least in, in to close the region around Zurich, so that, that was a very small thing and you had to go to the States for that. So 
Um, I decided to go more in the direction of architecture to do something, uh, let's say, classical studies and something that, uh, that could, could actually be studied uh, within Switzerland. So, um, but I had a hobby of uh, 3D graphics as a, as a hobby for quite a long time, and, but I still had this idea to, uh, at one point in time, uh, work potentially on a movie, and that dream took me about 15 years to accomplish. And so, yeah, from, from what you're saying, it sounds like you were really on, on the path to sort of, you know, do the visual effects thing. Um, but here we are now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, here we are now. Obviously, you founded Urban. Um, so maybe just what was the idea behind why you wanted to found Urban, and then how you joined the Esri Partner Network. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So founding founding Urban to me was um, just the next the next step of. Uh, going in the direction of actualizing my dream, for following my, my specific passions. And um, so my, my long-term dream was to have some sort of uh, company of sorts where I can help other people realizing their, their types of um, visions of having or, or of urban environments in 3D whether that is for, for games or for movies or uh, whether this could also be an actual real-world planning application. So there was a little bit of second nature, but um, having worked within the city engine team, uh, to me personally, with a non-computer science background, became a little bit harder, but I still I love this tool and I wanted to push it more and more. And so I, I basically decided to go from the development side of things to the artist side or consulting side of things and so that was the, the, the reason for me to uh, just move on and push the, the product in, in another way and um, then it because I have so many friends within the Esri universe um, and so many uh, connections that I had trained or um, helped on the forums and so on to me, it was very natural to actually become a, a, an Esri partner. And yeah, so Urban was founded in August 2016, and now it's since February 2017, so pretty much a half, half a year later, I became Esri partner. Great. And I guess that sort of ties in a little bit to my next question, too, which is about the City Engine user meeting. Uh, which you started last yeah. year, right? For the yeah. first time? Right. Uh, in Copenhagen? It was last okay. year? Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, so maybe just quickly a little bit of like background or your motivation as to why you wanted to create this user meeting. That's a good question. Uh, well, I'm not the most social person, but uh, <laughs> no. I, I just decided that um, the city engine has been around for a couple of years now. Um, but it is still at the moment a little bit uh, a tool of, for, for specialists, but we're working on that, right? Um, but what was very important to me is to have a community around the tool, and um, there had not been specific user meetings around uh, for C Engine, so I, I decided uh, that it was about time to, to actually do one myself. And so last year was quite a big success for, for doing it the first time. We had almost 30 people in Copenhagen. And um, so now this year we're just continuing and uh, starting a legacy. <laughs> Love it. I think that's really great. And um, yeah, so the next user meeting is actually on next month. So the 19th and the 20th of April um, here in Zurich. So the home of City Engine. And obviously we'd love to see as many of you um, there that we possibly can. So um, I'll make sure I, I link below on, on where you can sign up and find out more information about this. And so maybe just map. So what can, what can our users and people expect from this coming up user meeting? Yeah, uh, so this year it's going to be bigger than last year. So um, 
we will have a two-day event. First day will be uh, presentations and uh, lightning talks. The, the agenda is live or live now. It's not yet absolutely final, but you'll you'll get an overview. Uh, and on the second day, uh, on the second day we will have workshops um, that will be city engine based. Obviously, uh, could also have a little bit of extra um, things in, in other tools like uh, Pro or so, uh, or maybe even a little bit of JavaScript. Let's see. And uh, so. Um, but the, the, the really the idea is it's going to be a social event. You will have a lot of time to, to network with people, to, to meet the, the developers, meet Tasha, um, and um, just really to to enjoy a great time talking about City Engine and enjoying a little bit of Zurich. Great. Um, so that's all the time that we have today in the hot seat. Thanks again for being here. Thank you for watching this and um, yeah, get back to either one of us on, on whatever you want, whatever you'd like to see next, um, what you think about the user meeting, what you'd like to see at the user meeting. Um, so I'll make sure that I link all the information that you need below. Thanks. Sweet. Bye. 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 <laughs>